Well, I'm very impressed uh, with the CVL conference this year. The hall was full. I saw a number of great people. I was very pleased to uh, connect with uh, Baba Obasanjo again. And um, as I said, I came here uh, not because I am the most knowledgeable. I came here so that I can gain from others. And really listening to him, listening to some others on the panel, it's enriched me as well. Um, I have always been a person seeking knowledge, but also always brave enough to be willing to share my own knowledge and see how people challenge it so that in that process I can refine what I know and um, where I want to go and really it's been great. I was very pleased to see that uh, President Obasanjo listened to my speech very well and when he went up to the stage with notes of things I had said I was really thrilled to see and then he commented on some of what I said and I liked uh, two areas where he kind of disagreed with my sequencing. I had said governance, leadership and development. He said he disagrees. It is leadership, governance and development. And I think I yield to him. I accept his own uh, idea of the sequence that you need good leaders to create good institutions for governance that will lead to eventual uh, uh, socio-economic development of the nation. The other thing is, he also made a comment which we have all accepted. When Obama said Africa needs strong institutions not strong leaders he said look it is true that you need strong leaders for sustained economic and social development he said but you also need strong leaders to make those institutions work you need strong leaders to also make sure that they resist the forces that try to destroy the very strong institutions you've created or resist bad ideas that come into society that disrupts governance and development so the fact is, he said, look, the truth is you need both. Which one comes first is not the question. The reality is Africa needs both strong institutions and strong leaders who recognize the value. Where he and I agreed is really that you need leaders who understand the issues. You need leaders who understand how to govern, how economics works. And he quoted other heads of states that he's interacted with who said any leader should at least understand a little bit about economics. That he emphasized over and over. And in my own presentation, I, talk, I said that in this 21st century, you must have leaders that understand a little bit more than co common sense, that understand the impacts of climate change, that understand the intersectoral linkages of policies that they will formulate. Leaders that understand why energy and infrastructure are so crucial to competitiveness. And leaders who understand that in fact we should build a viable private sector, not crony capitalism, just for our family and friends. So for me there, Obasanjo and I seem to agree that uh, the knowledge of the leader matters. That they cannot go into leadership not knowing some of these crucial issues of the 21st century. So I think on that score, hey, that's what this dialogue is, why this dialogue is beautiful. You come, you learn. And as an aspiring leader, I'm happy I came today. My message for the youth is this. You must engage now. If a 31-year-old person can be Prime Minister of Austria, a 31-year-old in Africa can be a councillor and a parliamentarian. If a 38-year-old in France became President of France, a 38-year-old in Africa can also be President or prepare him or herself to be president what am i saying take charge of your future you have to build the 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 country you want the africa you want nobody's going to do it for you and if you don't engage now you will be the biggest losers because when we the older people do the wrong things now it will haunt you for the next 30 years therefore i encourage all youth get involved in business but also get involved in politics be the change you want to see create the political and governance structures you want, be part of that governance yourself and take over your future.